video portraits of American trendsetters. Ten cities across the country, five episodes in each city. This week, basketball, a hometown show, and a band with a contentious name, Starfucker. more than we were home last year and actually for the last three or four years that we've been touring yeah. it's been pretty much like that yeah my so. girlfriend hates us <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can we get the star fucker band up here is touring what keeps the band going yeah for us especially in the beginning of the band that's how we got anywhere was just touring our asses off you know just like working really hard and like we wouldn't have done all the touring i don't think we would have kept being a band probably yeah definitely not yeah all right let's give a listen to the whole drum kit please When I started this project, I felt like the music industry in general is kind of like going back to high school, like voluntarily going back to this really lame time when you're like, there's like a hierarchy of coolness. I was like, fuck the music industry, fuck all this, this is just bullshit. Like, it should be like a kid having fun and playing. So the name Starfucker was just kind of like a, fuck this, I'm not trying to be in that whole like high school scene, I'm not trying to be cool, I'm not trying to be successful, I'm just trying to like, this is what I do. Anyway, it's therapeutic and it's fun. Yeah. Are you down in LA most of the time? No, no, I'm just, but I'm recording in San Luis Obispo. Oh, I'm like okay. just homeless, I'm floating yeah. around. You got plans for after your set, are you gonna hang out? For the uh, not for Girl Talk, yeah. we, dude, every time we play a festival, it's with, with him, talk. yeah, so <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of other things to go see in Portland. There you are. Nice hair. Yeah, girl. Hi. Thanks. How does it feel to play in your hometown? It's great. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, we don't do it that often anymore. When we tour so much, I rarely see my friends. Like, I don't, I'm never home, so I don't get to hang out with my friends. So when we play a show, it's like, ah, come to the show and hang out. We can actually get a beer. I'm going to go say hi to my mom. How's it going? I was looking for you. I know you were. I, I kept like, waiting. I kept waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you in camp last night? Uh, yeah. We drove. We got home at like midnight or something. So yeah. I'm gonna go backstage and like maybe put on a different shirt and drink some coffee. Here after today or are you leaving? I'm leaving tomorrow morning. All right. I'll see you later. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye guys. Thanks. Welcome to night two at Pioneer Courthouse Square. Is everyone ready? Coming up next, Starfucker. How do you think maybe your motivation will change as you don't really have that like yeah. fuck y'all to fight against anymore totally. you know as that no, resistance has, ceases yeah. well now it's it's a different thing i feel like we have a job but it's like to create this environment for kids to come and have fun and just like feel crazy and like it's like a really positive experience now when i write and now when we're like doing the stuff we're thinking about that we're thinking about putting on the best show that we can that will help create that kind of environment switch like our thoughts now is more about like the fans and the kids who are super affected rather than just what we want to do. Yeah, it used to be way more masturbatory. Now it's more orgy <laughs> yeah. style. <laughs> Oh, 
Sean, should I pack everything like we're just gonna leave from the park? Probably. Who wants in? Peggy wants in. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> she loves him. She like follows him around whenever we get home from tour. I haven't had a apartment or a home for like over a half a year now, so. Cause it just got to be like annoying trying to find subletters for when we were on tour and we were on tour for half a year. So it's like, when we've been home, I've been like recording in Astoria and then now recording in San Luis Obispo. So I've been able to find good places to stay. Hi, Peggy. I mean, it's actually really fun, but it's pretty exhausting being gone all the time and not having like a home to come home to and like, you know, not having that kind of like consistency or home base. We're away from our girlfriends and our kittens and just yeah. like the comforts of normal life. How you doing, man? Good. Great show good. last night. It was Thanks. fucking awesome. Yeah, what's up, man? What's yeah. up? Yeah. How's it going? Hold on, I gotta use a geometry shit. Oh, man. <laughs> the one thing I can do is run for long periods of time, so I'll, I'll be good at defense. We might as well play three on three or something. What are we doing? We're playing basketball? <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a good game. Wow, that was really the most exercise I've had in so long. Yay, now we get to get in a van and <laughs> sit yeah. down for 10 hours. 10 hour drive. I wish you guys were coming to San Francisco. Yeah, you want to come? <laughs> I want to do that though sometimes, like take off some vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys ever want to roll with us on tour, and it'd be awesome. Are you guys ready? Yeah. We should probably roll. Yeah, have a good trip. Yeah, you man. too, man. Good to see good you. Good to see you. Yeah. See you later, Brian. Thank you so much. Yeah, Josh. See you next time. Can I get some more of that ibuprofen? Here, Josh. Thank you. Yeah, we all kind of listen to our earbuds and it's kind of like silent time in the van. Like fake alone time. Yeah. Because on tour, you never, ever, ever get alone time. So the van is kind of the only substitute for that. Later, Portland. Honestly, my favorite part about being in a touring band is just playing the shows themselves. Our fans are really amazing because they always seem to be having such a good time and it just rubs off and the energy transfers and it's really kind of empowering. I feel like just for that hour when we play it, no one's thinking about bullshit like money or their jobs or whatever. I just love it. I get high off it. Next time on American Hipster Presents, large scale murals of wild beasts in an urban environment with Broken Crow. Checking out Music Fest Northwest, hanging out with Starfucker, getting to know the homies, playing some b-ball. Let us know what you think of the episode. Let us know what you think of the band. Click on the links over here, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. <laughs>